ready for our international contest? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> Speaker number one, Michael Shelton. Who is an American? Who is an American? Michael Shelton. <laughs> is an American. I mean, what makes an American different from a Nigerian, say, or a Russian, or a Malaysian? After all, we are all immigrants, if you think about it, or at least our ancestors were in the past 300 years. So what is it about our country, our society, that makes us Americans, that gives us a set of common values? Technically, of course, we're not all immigrants, because about 1% of the population of this country are still Native Americans. You remember, they were the ones who, who received and helped the very first immigrants, the ones who landed at, at Plymouth Rock. In fact, now I think about it, those immigrants, the pilgrims, were in fact refugees. They were, they were fleeing persecution for their religious beliefs from their original country. Madam Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters and, and guests, this is a question I've been thinking about for quite a while now. What is an American? Because my wife and I have had the pleasure of working with many new immigrants to this country. Seven years ago, Marie and I volunteered to sponsor a family of refugees. We thought it would be a good way to improve our Spanish. But Lutheran Social Services, one of the three agencies that settles refugees in this city, asked if we would integrate, help sponsor a family of refugees from Somalia. We didn't know what to expect, but we said sure. The caseworker took us to the apartment where they had just been settled the day before and introduced, introduced us at the door to the Jama family. And then she left. Well, Marie and I noticed a pile of shoes by the front door, so we took off our shoes and entered into this empty living room. And pretty soon we were sitting on the floor with the family trying to communicate. Mahmoud was the only one who spoke some English, limited English at that. And we learned that he had recently married Abshiro, who was sitting there very shyly, covered with all her limbs and her hair well covered with colorful robes. And then we learned that they had all fled Somalia after the Civil War started in the 1980s. Mahmoud's parents had been killed by this little young boy at their home in southern Somalia. His older sister grabbed him and they fled to the safety of Kenya. There, they were settled into a refugee camp in northern Kenya that grew and grew into a small town managed by the United Nations. Mahmoud and Abshiro lived there for 19 years, went to school there, had odd jobs, and finally, it, their turn came to, for, to be resettled. And they asked to be resettled in the United States because they had heard of the American dream. Within days, Mahmoud was searching for jobs. Riding his bicycle in the summer heat of Phoenix, handing out a resume that we had typed for him. Since then, Mahmoud has worked as a, as a taxi driver, as a meat cutter, as a security guard, as an assistant manager at 7-Eleven. Recently, he and his family moved to North Dakota, where he is now working in the, in the oil industry and studying for a certificate as an x-ray technician. 
Mahmoud is now an American citizen and a proud patriot. So what is it about our society that can make help people as foreign as Mahmoud become a proud American? I have decided that there are three primary characteristics of Americans. The first is that Americans are generally, they're optimistic. That's, that's why we work so hard. That's why we get educated, because we know we can improve our lives and the lives of our children. Secondly, we value our personal freedoms, but we know that we have to respect societal norms and laws. We, we, we understand that we have to respect boundaries if we're going to cooperate in this increasingly complex and interdependent society where we live. And third, we, we value diversity. In fact, we celebrate diversity. That's how, that's how come we have such a tolerant and flexible society that welcomes newcomers. That's how come we can have a congressman named Gallego and a president named Obama. A year after Obama, after Mohammed and Abshuru arrived, we took him on a trip to Sedona. And while we were standing at a viewpoint, another American couple came up and engaged Mahmoud in conversation. They were admiring Abshiru's colorful robes, and they finally asked, well, where are you from? Mahmoud immediately said that he and his family were from Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Today, America stands as a model for the rest of the world, a model that other countries must emulate if they are going to integrate the millions of people forced to flee their countries from war and global warming. We, who are lucky enough to live in this country, must do everything we can to preserve and strengthen this model that we have of a society that makes everyone in the country feel safe, and welcome. Adam Cantus Chair.